Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey guys, how you doing? How's your day going? And how's the lockdown been? Welcome to Authentic Store, a place where you get everything you need for your hair. It's so good to be back again. So have you been? Really, have you been? Has been this lockdown? Two weeks, three weeks, one month. Some of us has been at home, like literally not gone out. The only time I went out maybe was to get fruit. So literally, I've been home for like four weeks, like four weeks, and I think it's been amazing. I really don't like going out, so I think it's been amazing. Have you been? How is your hair? Like, have you really been taking care of your hair this period? So. So this conversation is going to be about post protective styles i know i did a video where i explained how you can take care of your protective styles during this lockdown and right now i want to talk about how you can take care of your hair after um, taking out your pr protective style so a lot of my friends have sent me messages saying i may have taken down my protective style how do i take care of it and I'm like, okay, I think I need to do a video telling you how do you take care of protective styles, especially because you can't go to the salon, like, you can't visit the salon. So some of us would have to, um, like, let our hair breathe during this period. Today, basically, we're talking about how do you take care of your natural hair after you have taken that protective style on. And my name is Neme. Welcome again to Hair Authentic Store. So the first thing you need to do after you take down that extension, especially if you've had the extension on for like four, five, six weeks, first thing you need to do is you need to do a pre-pull. Now the process of pre-pull is um, applying a shampoo or oils to your hair before washing it. Now you can do a hot oil treatment, which can be another form of pre-pull, or you can use your shampoo, a clarifying shampoo with a mixture of um, your favorite oils and apply to your hair before you wash. Hot oil treatment involves mixing um, some of your oils together and making sure that it's warm. So make sure that maybe you heat it up a little bit, then you apply it from your scalp to the ends of your head and you leave for like 30 minutes. Or what I did yesterday when I was washing my hair was that I did a mixture of my shampoo with um, coconut oil and palm kernel oil and also a little bit of apple cider vinegar. I mixed them together, made sure that it was warm enough, then I applied on my hair. I left for about maybe 30 or 45 minutes before I did the normal shampooing. So it's really very important that you pre-pull your hair before you have the normal shampoo. Now the purpose of a pre-pull is that it adds and prevents moisture from escaping from your hair. It also helps your hair to detangle properly. And also it adds shines to the hair. So um, what, I, what I noticed was that uh, when I did this pre-pull, I usually have a lot of um, shedding my hair sheds a lot because it's really soft that's why i do a lot of protein treatment and deep conditioning and i notice and it actually happens when i take out um, my protective styles so i noticed that yesterday when i uh, did a pre-pull before i had my shampoo before i washed my hair i noticed that my hair didn't break a lot like i didn't have a lot of hair falling off my hair and i was really very grateful about that so one of the reasons why you should pre-pull your hair that helps detangle your hair properly so if you have a lot of knots in your hair if you have a lot of friction obstruction in your hair a pre-pull will help you to tangle properly and it also adds moisture to your hair it also helps your hair to preserve the natural oils that is found in your hair with pre-pull you would be sure that your hair is preserved the natural oils from your hair is preserved so this is the reason why you should do a pre-pull before you shampoo your hair so pre-pull is before shampoo no, no. So number one is you pre-pull your hair before you wash. Number two thing you need to do is using a clarifying shampoo. I already mentioned that. So after you do the pre-pull, you need to shampoo, wash your hair with a clarifying shampoo. And basically what clarifying shampoo does is that it helps you uh, remove all those product build up. It helps clean your scalp. So um, after having this protective style on for like eight weeks, or I know some, some of us, we wear a protective style for like two months. So I know, I know, I know. 
So after having this protective style on for a while, you need to clarify your scalp. So you use a clarifying shampoo. But what if your shampoo is not a clarifying shampoo? What if it's just a normal shampoo that you have? You can use apple cider vinegar. I know I mentioned apple cider vinegar a lot. Apple cider vinegar has a lot of benefits. I would do a, um, a detailed video of what apple cider vinegar does. If you're looking for um, a flat tummy, you can use apple cider vinegar. I mean, apple cider vinegar is just good. It's good for the hair, it's good for the body, but it has to be used in a balanced proportion. Yeah. So apple cider vinegar is really very important that you have it in your home, like in your kitchen, have apple cider vinegar. So um, you can also use apple cider vinegar to clarify your scalp if you do not have a clarifying shampoo. How do, how do you do use apple cider vinegar? You mix it with your shampoo and use it to wash your hair. It also helps to clarify the scalp and it also helps to prevent dandruff and removes all those products build up. Apple cider vinegar is really very good to use. And you can also use bentonite clay. Did I pronounce that well? Bentonite, bentonite, whatever, you understand what it is. Bentonite clay is also good for clarifying scalp. I haven't tried it yet, but I plan to try it after this lockdown. Get one and try but I hear it's really very good for clarifying your scalp so you can mix your bentonite clay with apple cider vinegar and if you have lemon at home you can also mix this together and you apply to your scalp from your scalp to the ends of your hair and you leave for like 13 minutes before washing up this will clarify your hair this would prevent the dandruff this will clear out the dandruff from your hair so make sure that you clarify your hair with a clarifying shampoo. If you don't have a clarifying shampoo, use these things that I've already talked about and voila, your hair is looking very neat. Protein treatment is another thing I'll advise you to do after you take out the protective style. Now, the reason why I'll advise you do a protein treatment instead of a deep conditioning is protein treatment helps you strengthen and fortify your hair strands. You've been wearing this protective style for a very long time and when you take it out, your hair tends to be weak, especially during the process of taking it out. Girl, you don't want me to tell you the process that I went through when I was taking out my protective style. I lost some hairs actually because, I mean, I did this style that I knew that I was going to lose some hairs. But yeah, so when you're taking out those, um, that extension, your hair tends to become weak and you need to do a protein treatment to be able to strengthen and fortify your hair. So protein treatment is really very important. While deep conditioning helps to um, hydrate and moisturize your hair and also prevent your hair from drying out and becoming brittle. It's also important to deep condition your hair, but I would advise that you deep condition your hair maybe after one week after you, you do a protein treatment. So right now I advise that you do a protein treatment. Um, there, are products, there are products that has protein treatment, but if you can't lay your hands on one, I got to be there. So go into your kitchen, get one egg, get apple cider vinegar, and get honey. Mix them together and apply it to your hair. Your hair will thank me. Or if you can lay your hands on avocado pear. I love using avocado pear because it makes my hair very soft and succulent and it strengthens my hair strands also. So egg with honey with apple cider vinegar you mix them together with oil of course so you have to apply extra virgin oil or coconut oil to this mix egg with honey with extra virgin oil and your hair will be feeling fed <laughs> yeah i mean this mixture helps i mean it's a protein treatment so you can use it on your hair if you can't lay your hands around any products yeah, basically, protein treatment is really very important. After you do a protein treatment, if you still want to deep condition your hair, if you still want to moisturize your hair and make sure your hair is hydrated, you can do uh, a deep conditioning after one week. Yeah, I'll advise you to wait till after one week. So protein treatment is really very important. After you do a protein treatment, of course, you need to wash it out. So you wash it out with a shampoo and you condition your hair. So you apply your normal conditioner and wash out thoroughly and you rinse out. Yeah. So you rinse out with your conditioner and your hair is actually very, very good to go. So after the protein treatment and after washing your hair out, you need to do it an LOC method. If you've been watching my videos, you'll see that I mentioned LOC method frequently. So LOC is liquid oil and cream or leave-in conditioner, oil and cream. So if you have a leave-in conditioner, you apply it to your hair 
not just your scalp, every part of your hair. You apply it to your hair, then you, 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 you use an oil. Coconut oil is actually good. Olive oil is actually good. Any oil you have, you apply it also to your hair, then you seal with cream. Now, if you are low on normal porosity, I would advise that you do the LCO because if you use the cream, you might, you might have product buildup. I'm not lying to you. I actually did the LOC yesterday. I kind of forgot that I was supposed to do the LCO because I'm normal porosity. I did the LC, LOC. So instead of using the cream to seal up, you use the oil to seal up. But if you, anyone that you want to do is your choice. So LCO method is actually good and it will help you moisturize and leave your hair hydrated. So when I, um, when I do in my hair today, or after I did that yesterday, today I still feel my hair is really very moisturized. So LCO is really very good to do immediately after you take that hairstyle out of your hair so that your hair can get gain back the moisture it has lost and also stay hydrated. After you've applied the LCO or LOC method, you need to trim your hair. Now, before you trim your hair, make sure you massage your hair for like two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. So after you do that, you need to trim your hair. So after taking down the protective style, you notice that you have split ends. You notice that your ends are rough. This is the ends of the hair. You notice that this part is rough. You have split ends. So you need to trim it. <sighs> I actually trimmed my hair before I did this protective style. I lose it, so I feel that I don't need to trim my hair again. Some people say you have to wait three to four months before you have another trim, but if you notice split ends, you need to trim your hair. And I also realized that after I take the out this, after I took out this protective style, my hair didn't break a lot. So what split ends does is that it's it's it breaks your hair a lot. So when you take out that uh, split ends, when you trim your hair, you help to also prevent breakage. So it's important that you trim your ends immediately after you have that protective style. That's if you have split ends, but it's fine if your hair is really healthy, you don't have any split ends, you leave it. That's very important. Next one is give your hair a break. <laughs> I'm laughing at those people that like to, you know, make hair back to back. So you listen to say, ah, I don't like keeping my hair. I like to make it what is happening to you right now. You see? Lockdown. You can't go to the salon. I mean, you can't go to the salon, right? So you just need to give your hair a break. Give your hair a break, please. Let your hair breathe. Like, feel your hair. Know how your hair is growing. Get to know what your hair length is like. Like, give your hair a break. It's really very, it's really important that you give your hair a break immediately after you have a protective style. You can Wear your hair for like two weeks before installing another protective style. Very important. It will keep your hair from breaking. Trust me, your hair will break less. Your hair will be healthy. You even take care of your hair well when it's without a protective style. I recommend protective style a lot, but I also advise that you give your hair a break. Now, you're telling me to give my hair a break. How do I now manage this hair? Divide your hair into sections like eight to 12 sections, depending on the volume of your hair. Then you twist each section. You can carry this twist for like one week, five days, depending on how strong this twist is. Or yeah, basically just twist your hair, divide your hair into sections, like five, six, seven sections, and then twist it. You can wear this style for like five days, one week, depending on how tight it is. And if you're tired of wearing that style, you can do a bantu knot. So when you twist it, you just roll the hair, roll everything up, wear it from that style. We don't know when this lockdown will be over. So you want to, I mean, keep your, your hair tidy. You want to keep your hair in a very comfortable state. So you can just divide it into sections and twist. And, and do not forget to always moisturize your hair. Even after you have, have washed your hair and cleaned it from all the dirt and everything, make sure that you still moisturize your hair daily. Well, not daily, maybe three times in a week. Yeah, moisturize your hair so this is the way you can take care of your hair after you take down that extension so if you are having if you're in a fix of what do I do to my hair after I take down that protective style especially because I can't go to the salon and most of us that love going to the salon to wash our hair you see you might need to wash your hair yourself and some people might not have uh, the product to wash their hair this period what I'll advise to use, what I'll tell you to use is to do so. I'll do a video, an extensive video telling you uh, the power of do so. 
it's like or if you have any black soap just use it on your hair if you do not have uh, your products if you're the kind of person that goes to the salon always to wash your hair you can use to do so get your hands around to do some or a black soap and use it to wash your hair it's also very good so what else do I want to tell you okay I want to tell you that I love you and I'm really concerned about your hair. I'm really concerned that your hair grows this season. I'm really concerned that your hair will be very healthy and also achieve so much growth. I do hope that my videos have been very inspiring. I do hope that my videos have been very informative and I do hope that it has been helpful for you. So don't forget to click on the subscribe button and subscribe and like the video and comment what you love about the video. Thank you so much for watching. This is where I will tell you, please be safe. It's not compulsory you go out. Social, yeah, it's not compulsory you go out. <laughs> I've said a lot. So bye and have a great day. Please stay safe, like I say, and I know that I.